Good morning guys, welcome back to another Wednesday and another What I Eat Wednesday. If you're new to this channel, thanks so much for clicking on this video. My name is Brittany and every Wednesday I post these What I Eat Wednesday videos. So I hope that you would consider sticking around and hitting that subscribe button. If you're not new here, welcome back. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. That is my refrigerator yelling at me in the back. Let me close that. Okay, I have this really weird thing where I will keep the refrigerator door open while I'm in the middle of doing something. So you guys just saw me make my bulletproof coffee. And yes, bulletproof coffee means only one thing and that thing is that I am going back on keto. And I am so excited because it has been a long time coming. I just feel really, really good when I'm on the keto diet or when I'm in ketosis. I have the most energy. I feel the best. I feel the leanest, the lightest. I feel like I can power through my workouts really well. And it's time, you guys. I had my son three and a half months ago. He'll be four months on the 19th. I'm not sure when you guys will actually be seeing this video, which Wednesday actually I don't know. Anyways, I had my son three and a half months ago and it is time for me to claim back my body. I am just feeling like I've been eating whatever I want, indulging in a lot of things. It doesn't help that it's also the holiday time right around now. So there's just sweets everywhere, carbs everywhere. It's just a really hard time to diet. So before I get ready to go back to work next month, I feel like I really need to get strict again with my eating and with my fitness. So you guys are gonna be along for the journey with me in this fitness journey and as we go into 2020. And I'm so excited to take you guys along with me because I have transformed my body once before and I am so excited to do that again. And I just feel like the keto diet is the way for me. So I just made my Bulletproof coffee and it is 11 a.m. right now. So I'm actually going to be including a little bit of intermittent fasting. I had my last meal pretty late last night, which is why I'm waiting so long to eat right now, but I'm going to be totally done eating by 7 p.m. every single day. So that is what I'm going to start incorporating. And yeah, so stick around so you guys can catch some really good uh, keto recipes. And I hope that y'all like this video. Cheers. Okay, so I did just want to talk really quickly about what exactly Bulletproof Coffee is. And what it traditionally is, is just regular black coffee with this butter in it. And the reason why I choose Kerry Kerrygold butter in particular is because it is grass-fed butter and it's much healthier than other butter. Um, it doesn't make your cholesterol levels worse and it actually optimizes them. And so starting your day with grass-fed butter gives you lots of energy and it'll give your body healthy fats. Another good thing about Kerrygold butter in particular is that their cows aren't given any antibiotics or growth hormones and Kerrygold doesn't use pesticides in their pastures. Irish dairy cows graze outdoors on grass all day long for up to 312 days a year and Irish cows graze on grass for longer than almost every country in the world. The reason why I particularly love Kerrygold butter is it makes your coffee really smooth and creamy and rich and delicious and I actually love it. I don't feel like it's super oily. I've used MCT oil in the past and you guys probably will see me use more MCT oil as we go forth with this diet change um, because I do love the nutrients that it gives my body. However, um, in replace of that because I don't have any MCT oil right now, Kerrygold butter is the way that I'm going to be doing it today and I just love it. I think that it's a great addition to any cup of coffee. So with most creamers, you do have to be really careful. A lot of times people will tell you to skip them all together simply because they are pretty unhealthy. They can be carb laden and have a lot of sugars. This one in particular is uh, the Coffee Mate by Nestle Sugar-Free Italian Sweet Cream Creamer and literally I just use one tablespoon of this and the only reason why I use this mostly is for flavor. However, you can use things like the Torani Sugar-Free Vanilla Syrup if you're looking for something with a little bit of sweetness in it. This is non-dairy and it's like Thank you. 
some people who are a little bit more educated on keto as a whole and I will definitely work my way towards that process but this is just what's worked for me but some people who are more educated on keto will argue that there is absolutely no reason to add any of this Nestle creamer to your coffee and that it could be bad for you however this is just a personal preference for me so don't take my word for it being extra healthy because I know that it's not it is a processed creamer overall but I just love good tasting coffee and I feel like it's a good addition in moderation and it's just one tablespoon so that is why I've added uh, that creamer to my coffee so it's 11 a.m. right now. I am just going to sip on this. I'm probably going to have my first meal meal um, when I'm done with this. I have just like a few things to do. I've got to feed the baby and I've got to pump. So then I'm probably going to have like my breakfast right after this. And it's just going to be a simple sausage and eggs. And I've got some avocado that I'm going to have with that or some guacamole that I made last night. I know it probably sounds weird like sausage and eggs with like a side of guacamole, but I just love guacamole and it really good so that's what I am going to have for breakfast and I'll show you guys how I make that okay so I picked up these uh, pork sausage patties from Walmart and for one patty it's 210 calories it is zero carbs seven grams of protein and 20 grams of fat so I'm just going to saute one of these and I'm going to fry up an egg to go with that and I'll probably just top it with a little bit of avocado and then I'm also probably going to make like a side of broccoli so I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay guys so the time right now is 12:15, and um, I just have the sausage here cut up, one egg fried in a little bit of avocado oil spray which I picked up from Costco. Let me show you guys that. So this is the avocado oil spray that I picked up from Costco. I just did a little spritz of that and I fried an egg. And then I also sauteed some spinach in the same pan that I fried the sausage in so I didn't have to add any more oil. You do wanna be really careful with the oils that you add in because that's going to add in more fat. So just keep that in mind. And voila, there is my first like meal of the day. And I wanna add that I'm also tracking this in my fitness pal. Just I'm not not eating too much fat or eating too much protein it's really easy to go over on your protein and you want to make sure that you're staying in moderate protein levels so I'm going to show you guys at the end of today exactly how much I ate and what I ate in the my fitness pal and I'll probably be using my fitness pal in the beginning for a while just while I like regulate myself again and get back into the groove of things because it has been a long time since your girl has done this diet so I just want to make sure that I'm not overloading my body with too much protein or going way way over my fat so yeah hey guys so I'm feeling something sweet right now so I'm going to make myself a chocolate shakeology shake one thing I want to note that I'm doing differently I normally start this off with a base of ice and a frozen banana but bananas are super high in carbs and so as well as sugar so I'm trying to knock that out so I'm not going to be using a banana I'm just going to blend together my shakeology uh, almond milk versus oat milk because that it's a lot less carbohydrates for you actually and I'm just going to add in a handful of spinach and that's gonna be it. Just my Shakeology, a handful of spinach, ice, and almond milk and I'm just gonna blend that together. Oh, and like half a tablespoon of peanut butter and that is going to be my snack. Okay, so lunch today is just this salad. This is just a few slices of black forest ham. This is the Land of Frost black forest ham and I used four slices and that's the serving size and there's one gram of carbs and eight grams of protein in that. And then I also use this, so this is on a bed of spinach and romaine. And then I've got two cherry tomatoes in here. I know you're not really supposed to eat cherry tomatoes, but again, I'm easing myself into this. I've got a few slices of cucumber, some red onion, some cilantro, a little bit of the Mexican shredded cheese. And then I made some guacamole last night so I'm going to use the guacamole and then I'm gonna just do like a little drizzle of olive oil and that's gonna be like my dressing for the salad and yeah that's what I'm having for lunch today really quick and simple salad the time right now is 2 45 so it's kind of a late lunch I'm gonna show you guys really quickly how I do the marinade for my flank steak for tonight I'm going to do a broccoli beef over cauliflower rice and that's gonna be my dinner but I'm gonna show you the quick marinade for that and then I'll show you guys dinner later on tonight
Okay, so I'm kind of feeling a little snacky. So I picked up this spinach and artichoke dip at my local Safeway. It's a Safeway brand. There's two grams of carbs per every two tablespoons, 70 calories, um, let's see here, one gram of sugar. So I've got about two tablespoons there with some cucumbers, and then I just have two pieces of these prosciuttos. This is the spicy salami, and I picked this up at Trader Joe's. I've shared this before. I love these things. And the serving on this is actually five pieces, but I'm only having two. So that slashes everything in half. So I'm going to say 120 calories. But I'll go ahead and, like I said, I'm entering all of this into my fitness pal just so that I can get an idea of what I'm eating. But I'm going to go ahead and munch on this right now. The time is four o'clock and you guys just saw me marinate my broccoli beef for dinner tonight and that's what I'm gonna have over cauliflower rice um, and just some steamed broccoli with some butter on top and literally that's going to be my dinner so I'll show you guys that. So my mother-in-law brought me my Tupperware back and she brought these ginger cookies and you guys, I have just been staring at them and I just want one so freaking bad. Nope. Okay, so that is like that is like the hardest part about this diet. I feel like is having to get off of my processed sugars and sweets. Like I am such a sweets person. Like I can literally eat candy all day long and like cookies all day long and with keto, yes, there are keto treats, and you can definitely have those. And I did pick up some low carb ice cream if you haven't seen um my keto grocery haul. I don't know if I'll have that up by the time you guys see this video, but it'll definitely be the next one if you haven't, if it's not up already. But there is this lower carb ice cream that you can get. Let me show it to you. So this is the ice cream. It's Halo Top. And this has, so for half a cup, there is 80 calories, there's 13 carbs and six grams of sugar, and there's two grams of fiber. So technically there's 11 net carbs, but there's still six grams of sugar. And it also says there's six, five grams of sugar alcohol. Like I don't even know what the difference is. And then there's five grams of protein. So I am literally right now, like I'm saving my day to have some of this because I know how badly I'm gonna want chocolate because I have been really good today. Like I just had my chocolate Shakeology and um, that's pretty much what I had for like my sweets fix. But honestly, that's like the hardest part. Like I didn't prepare any fat bombs before today and I'll definitely include some recipes on some fat bombs if that's something that you guys would like. Let me know in the comments down below if you wanna see like what kind of sweets I make while I'm on the keto diet. I would love to make that for you. Um, but that's another reason why this diet is kind of good for me too because I don't feel like I'm necessarily depriving myself. I can have like different options like the Halo Top ice cream. I can um, make the keto fat bombs, like the sweet treats and things like that. And I need that in a diet. Like I am not a person that can just live like saying, no, I'm not gonna ever have any sugar because there's temptation all around me and I wanna make sure that I'm making healthier options. So yeah, that's my little rant. So here's mine. It just has the cauliflower rice and the steak and broccoli with some sesame seeds. And this is Taylor's. He has real rice with his. And this was super easy to make. It just fried the beef up that we marinated and saute some broccoli. The one thing I would change is I would use fresh broccoli instead of frozen. I realized over the years that I am just not a fan of frozen broccoli. I love fresh broccoli. I love the crunch and it doesn't matter what I do with frozen broccoli. I just cannot get it crunchy. It's always like like soggy and waterlogged, which I hate. But other than that, that is the only thing that I would change. But this is dinner and it looks really good, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat that now. So I'm finishing out the night with my Halo Top chocolate ice cream that I told you guys about earlier. And it is 6.53 right now, so I made good timing because I wanted to be done eating by seven. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up and please make sure that you keep coming back every Wednesday so that you can see how this keto lifestyle has evolved for me. And if you guys have any suggestions, again, if you wanna see me do like keto sweets or how to get into ketosis, uh, how to get into ketosis really fast, just go ahead and leave me a comment down below and I'll be sure to get those filmed for you guys. And please make sure you hit that red subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any more of my upcoming videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one.
Bye.